whatever you need to do, but if you feel like you can get out and you know it's a real lockdown, just get out. Um, if you're in the hallway with your kiddos and you're near an exit and that occurs, get out. Um, one of the things like uh, that we experienced during, was it the hold? Yeah. When y'all were in the gym? Yeah. Okay. So like in the gym, they couldn't lock one of the, like the doors in between because they're not there as the actual coaches. They were there for their basketball club. So if you're in the gym with your class for some reason and it goes into lockdown, there are external exits outside from the gyms that you can take. Just get out. Even if it's a drill and you're in there, I would rather you exit the building and get a hold of the front office and let us know, hey, we exited the building than to like stay in there and have me come by and easily be able to open the door and be like, oh, cool, look at all these students right here. So there's that expectation. And if you have like very specific questions, please feel free to shoot me an email or come by my office and ask me and I can uh, let you know. Uh, the biggest thing, this is why I put it in red. Uh, last year, the procedure was uh, t two administrators or staff members would come over on the intercom, identify themselves and say, we are lifting the lockout. That is no longer allowed. Uh, we have to individually go classroom to classroom and unlock every single door. And I know that's kind of like stressful because you're thinking about, oh my goodness, like somebody's trying to get into my classroom. If it was an actual lockdown, this is how your classrooms would be cleared regardless. Uh, police would come in. Um, sometimes they might come in, gun drawn, let me see everyone's hands, everyone line up and we're gonna exit the building. Um, and, that's, and that's how your classroom will be cleared. Um, so we need to kind of get used to that procedure. Um, and please don't throw anything at us if you know 100% it's a drill. Uh, we are just, we will announce ourselves as best as we can. Hey, this is a member of the campus response team. Uh, the lockdown is over, we are opening the doors. And I mean, you'll hear that, we're gonna have multiple peoples per hallway, so you'll hear, you'll start hearing us go from door to door. Touch. Can you speak up, please? I can't hear you. Say it was a real lockdown, you stacked your desk, the weekend, just the world open, and you still just aren't the next, you always call 911. Like, hey, teachers, what's that? And they'll let you know that, yes, they're clear in their time. So, that's also key to that. But not very real. Yeah, please don't. Please don't stack desks uh, during a drill. Uh, so frequency, we have to have two per semester. Um, first 31 days must be fair door to door. You'll see fall semester lockdown number one. Um, this is something I'm still kind of learning, so I didn't have y'all do this, but you need to have conversations with your uh, students about how you would barricade a door if necessary. Uh, the fall semester lockdown number two, look at this guys, this is gonna drive us crazy. No more can I just like pick advisory period. I have to have a lockdown during a time of student transition. So during a passing period, I have to do a lockdown. Okay. Yeah. Hmm? I mean, we're, we're gonna have those conversations. You're gonna sit there, like usher kids into the room, close the door. They need to learn too, kind of what to do if that were the situation as well. Um, and more specifics will come. Uh, in the spring, there must be uh, like a discussion about self-evacuation tactics, like if you're in the hallway, just get out of the building. Um, and then the second lockdown has to occur during the final minutes of any lunch period. All right, so these are requirements from the district. Just letting y'all know, and then I'm not allowed to let y'all know in advance on when we are doing this. Um, so they're just gonna happen. Um, Snow, ice, bad weather, this is the same as it was last year. Uh, report to the front office, team leaders bring your walkies. Uh, we'll stay in areas to kind of help kids out. Uh, the big thing that we are going to be doing soon is the best advanced warning I'm going to give you. I know we're close to our time, so just want to make sure I honor that. Um, is we will have like an actual evacuation drill and a re reverse evacuation drill. Like if we were all outside for an event or something, I had to come back inside. Um, so. There is the map for the evacuation drill. A little bit different than the fire drill because we're not just leaving and staying on our side of the building. If you are over there in the classroom hallways, um, you have to walk your kids around and we all meet over on the football field. Okay? Um, I wanted to take us out there, but we're really short on time. So, end zone on the left side is sixth grade, midfield, uh, seventh grade. 
uh, that far end zone is eighth grade, and then in between seventh and eighth grade, electives, if that makes sense. Okay, and I'll send out a map with that kind of designated and drawn on there. I was gonna take us out there, but um, we don't have a ton of time for that. If you don't have that map, let me know and I can get us copies and get them delivered to the rooms. Um, reunifications is if we have to leave and then we come back in and we all need to meet in a common area. Um, but that's very specific. And I'll send, I'll post this presentation to Canvas for y'all to see as well. And then there's what I was talking about, the evacuation and reunification. I have to have one per semester. These are the only types of drills I can stack so we can do the evacuation and the reverse evacuation at the same time. Um, and then in the spring, I have to include a missing student in that. So somebody will grab a student and hold on to them, and then we're going to have to check and make sure that the student is there. So there's all sorts of like realism things. And then I have to fill out a form and a Google form and submit it within three days. Like There's a lot. So I just wanted to make you all <laughs> aware. Um, I'm not doing these things to drive you crazy. I didn't front load a bunch of drills because I was just like, yeah, I'm the new AP. I'm going to see if I can make people mad. Like, this is going to be awesome. Um, I'm doing this because it is the district requirement for us. They want to make sure that instead of doing 170 drills in the last two weeks of school on Fridays at like 2 p.m., um, that we're actually practicing them at the beginning because uh, we did have a four real lockout, and I feel like people probably would have been locking down had we not already had our lockout <laughs> drill. So thank y'all again for that. If you ever have any specific questions, please let me know. But y'all are awesome. I appreciate it. All right. Y'all, I have to apologize to Michael because I did ask him to lie through that because we were short on time because guess who changed the time? Me. So um, thank y'all so much for y'all's time. The people who agreed to rate and affirm, if y'all will hang back for just a second, I'm going to send it to y'all electronically because it is after five, and I want y'all to get on out of here and go love your family. Thank y'all.